Well, we're over our trailer at Swanee, and we're going to do some offshore fishing. Well, that's like a joke now because it's blowing about 15 mile an hour, and we got all this rain. It's been raining for three days. And we were going to set the crab traps out earlier, but uh, we don't like to go out in the rain anymore. We're getting old. We're waiting for a nice day. So tomorrow, hopefully, it's going to be nicer. We'll get out and set the crab trap. The rain stopped. Okay, set one right here. Okay, first trap. Alright, set that one here. That's the uh, number two trap. Now maybe we'll have a deep one up here. All right, set one here. We got nine feet. That's a lot of water for here. Okay, set one right here. What's that? Number four, isn't it? All right, we'll put it in front of this little creek right here. That's a good spot. Yeah, that's a good spot. Hopefully some crick, some crabs live in that little crick. Alright, our trap's been out for a day now. It's been raining this morning, so we just got a break to get out and uh, bring them in. It's been raining for four days. We had to work in between the rain. So we'll get out there, we'll get back to you. Pull the first trap. There's the rain out there. In between the trees, you can see another storm coming. The whole radar is lit up with storms. Alright, we're coming up on our first trap here. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got four. Yeah. Yeah. That's Not like the old days, but Adele, it's nice pretty. Size, it's huh? pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. good For overnight. That uh, was mackerel. Yeah. Yeah, it's Spanish mackerel. That, that makes a good crab bait. It's an oily fish. You can put your basket down there. Uh, I'll get them. I'll chase them around the deck. Yeah. There goes one back right to me. Here's our second trap and it started raining again. I don't think we've had an hour's break in four days without rain. Ah, just one good one there. That ain't much. That little one could have got out the escape ring. What kind of bait? That was mackerel, That's a big old so. Mackerel. Yeah. All right, it's our third trap. We're getting. When we were young, we didn't care about the rain. I guess when you get old, 
it's like a pain. We try to pick the nice days. Ah, what's that? Two crabs. This one was kind of like really stuck. That's our fourth trap. Hope it does better than the other ones. Jeez, we haven't been doing much, have we? One big one. It's a nice, that's a nice sized crab, but. Maybe they didn't like all that rain for the last four days. Probably. Maybe. We'll blame we'll blame that. Under the trailer's flooded, and that's just rain. Yeah. Got a nice deal on the phone. Here's our last trap, number five. Ah, oh, look at that one. Yeah, well, we'll have to look at this one for a while. <laughs> Finally got a few crops. <laughs> yeah, right? nice. I like big ones, huh? yeah. So what we got in here? That little one shouldn't count. Right? count. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crabs anyway. Right. Right. You see that big claw there? Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a nice one there, too. They're all nice except for that one and that one. Yeah. That was good. Just for overnight. And we'll blame all this rain too. Right. Else we would have done better. Right. Can't complain. Mm -hmm. That's a nice catch. Nah. Nice catch. Yeah, we'll come over and send them some other air. Keep trying different spots here. Apparently our old spots aren't that good anymore. Well this one ain't too bad. No, from here we'll work the other way. Yeah, we yeah. that could close the home. That's true. Get out. Yeah, see that one trying <laughs> to escape. That's the escape ring there. He ain't gonna escape. He's kind of big to get out of there. He's trying to escape. But they're all trying. He's trying to get out that one. He's trying to get out the. Yeah. <laughs> this is a smart crab. Swanee crab. We clean our crabs, we don't boil them whole, you know, that's just like, that's just the way we like to do it. 
But there's nothing wrong with them boiling them whole. We like to take the guts out first and clean them up, and they're just ready to eat. These are nice sized crabs. We didn't get a lot, but more than enough for a meal for us, or a couple meals. Yeah, see, he's eating steel. Yeah, they don't let go when they're dead. They still hold on. We have to break the shell off. You pull the uh, lungs off. Break the face off. Then we use a toothbrush to clean the guts out. And try that, it works out pretty good. You can scrape it out of there if you like. It. We like to get them nice and clean. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with just boil them like they are, boil them whole, but we just you know, prefer it this way. We put some garlic in. We sprinkle some garlic powder. You layer them in there, so then you uh, sprinkle it in on each layer. Onion powder and Old Bay. And you layer them again. Oh, I didn't count them. Garlic, huh? Mm -hmm. More garlic. Lots of garlic. More onion. And more. more Old Bay. <laughs> and if you have a lemon, you could put a lemon in there, but we, um, I don't have one uh, for this one. Wherever our trailer is, so, we don't have much over here. So you're gonna cook them for ten minutes? Ten minutes. You put the lid as soon as it comes to a boil. Put the lid on. Keep an eye on it so it doesn't boil over because it has a tendency to really bubble up and it will get into the burners and it makes a stinky mess. We've done that before. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's always something on the burner with these coils. Yeah. They're all done. We just uh, put some cold water on them. Stop them from cooking. And we ended up with 15 nice crabs, and they're all, they all were nice and heavy. So if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.